Jacksons had a vegetable patch just behind their shed. They tended it so lovingly and always planned ahead. It fed them through the autumn and when the springtime came, they dug it up, they fertilized it and planted seeds again. It wasn't such a big patch but was perfect for their needs. They paid it such attention, always pulling up the weeds. They planted sprouts, potatoes, cauliflowers and watched their veggies grow. And after all were eaten, they chose the new seeds they would sow. One springtime, Mr. Jackson was pottering in his shed, choosing seeds for planting, just as the gardening books said. If he had only known what trouble he would cause, he'd have brought his grub at Tesco's or the local Asda store. <sighs> now then, shall I put peas or tomatoes in this little bit this year? Peas are useful for soups and with all sorts of meals. And they're yummy straight out of the pot. On the other hand, tomatoes are you are great for making sauce. And there's nothing nicer to snack on when they're fresh from the garden. Mmm. Brian took a teammate for you. Ah! <laughs> Oh, peas and tomatoes, it's them. The seeds were scattered carelessly across the muddy ground. Sometimes the rain fell on them, sometimes the sun shone down. The seeds began to germinate, and they very slowly grew. And so gradually, eventually, the little heads poked through. Yo, sunlight! Good God, have I had a headache? It was a real struggle getting through that soil. Wow, this is me. Where are we? Don't know, but looks like a nice place. Hey, you down there, come on up, it's lovely. Just for four minutes, please. Come on, lazy bones, why should you stay in bed and it all up? Move your body. All right, all right, I was having a lovely dream. I dreamed I was in salad in salad cream and... Eee, salad cream? What are we supposed to do now then? Don't you know? If I knew, I wouldn't be asking, would I? Why do you have to be so unpleasant? Because I like it? That's no excuse. No, but it's a good reason. If there wasn't a tomato between us, I'd... Yeah, what? I'd... I'll stop it, you two. Give it a rest. Uh, you're already fighting. So what are we... So what do we do now? Well, we wait a little while for the sunshine and then we... Howdy folks! Lovely day, isn't it? What a lovely bed! What the... What's wrong? Oh my word! Hey you, come up here and look at this! Whoa, they don't look like peas! Maybe they're in a rare type! Yeah, right! A red variety! They are not peas! Stop it! Not peas? No! no. So what are they doing here then? That's what, that's what I want to know! Just, uh, just what do you think you are doing in our bed? Your bed? What a nerve, we were here first, and that makes it all bad. Oh, it does, does it? We'll soon see about that. Why have we got peas in our bed? I, I never had a pea in my bed before. Are you sure about that? And just what do you mean by that remark? Well... What are we going to do? What will become of us? No, don't worry, it will be alright. Um, we we'll just grow like supposed to. But there won't be enough room in this bed, all of us. I won't be full their heads, heads of right now. Oh yeah, just you try it. You little like green thing. I'll I report you so fast. Oh, will you? What do you think you will achieve? Well, you won't be able to grow and we have this place all to ourselves again. It's not our fault that we ended up here with you. Can't we just learn to get along together? What? In the same bed? Humans freeze! Oh look, the vegetables are growing! Just a minute. There is something wrong, Brian. I know, I know. I think I've put my relics on the wrong feet. Have you? Again? I'm beginning to think you prefer them uh, that way. Anyway, I wasn't talking about that. It's the vegetables. They don't look the same to me, do they, too? Ah, no, well, these are peas. 
and those are tomatoes. I thought so. What are they doing in the same bed? Um, growing? Yes, I can see that for myself. But why have you planted them like this? I don't remember this from the gardening book. Would you believe me if I told you that, wanted, that I wanted to be the first with an unusual idea for vegetable gardening? No. Oh, well, I suppose it'll have to be the truth then. I dropped the seeds. Of course you did. That's how we've always planted them. No, I dropped the seeds. I spilled them all when you made me jump when I was trying to decide which ones to put in. They went all over the place. I tried to pick them up, but it only made things worse, so I left it. I didn't think it would matter. Oh no, why couldn't you have been more careful? So that's, so that's decided that we'll leave them to grow as they, as they are. There is not much difference between peas and tomatoes anyway. Alright. No difference between tea, peas and tomatoes I need. What do they mean? No difference. How dare they? Oh, insulting. There is a great de deal of difference if you happen to be a tomato. Or a pea. Never mind all that. We've got serious problem. We, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? We're all doomed. doomed. Will you stop that? You are getting on my nerves. First sign of, uh, of trouble and you start be behaving like you are in a Greek tragedy. I really get, uh, got on my stalk. Look, stop it, both of you. Why can't we just find a simple solution? We've been planted here by accident, and this is where we're going to have to say. So why don't we just make the best of it and try to get along with catch other? Why don't we just wait and see who grows the tallest? Then whoever it is takes the whole of the bed. Great idea. Why don't why don't we just have a massive fight and see who the winners uh, are after that? Come over here, here real little star kid. No, no, no you, you are, are in, in a big, big trouble. trouble. Hey, what's all this noise going on in our bed? Yeah! Your bed! Your, Your bed? bed? Are you listening to me? That's what I said. Didn't I? This is our bed. We saw it, we like it, and, we and we've decided to stay. And just who you think you are? We don't think we know the truth around the beans. We stand no nonsense from nobody. When we say move, you move. What mean you snap their stalks, boss? Beans, beans. Easy now. Back off. These good vegetables don't want violence. They will move on without your friendly help. They understand what we're saying. And I don't think you will need to dirty your pretty little leaves. Save your special talents for another day. They understand, don't you? Oh, now we're really in trouble. We're doomed. Doomed! Shut up! Excuse me, us just one moment before you rip our stalks. We've got to have meeting. Are you with us on this? Yeah, come on, tomatoes. So what are we going to do now? I have heard about the, these runabies. They are really mean bunch, taking over wherever they go. So, uh, so how can we possibly beat them? Well, first of all, I think we need to agree to work together on this. So, are, are we all agreed? Agreed. agreed. Uh, what do runner bean, beans need to have to keep going? My runner beans? Fertilizer? Little round stones? Sunshine? Making big sticks? No, no, no! Think about it! What do we all need to able to grow? I I know I know I've got it water, oh, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, water. Well done. So the runner beans need water to keep going, and the plan is the plan is to cut the water supply. 
brilliant idea. So how do we stop raining? We don't. We just uh, we just suck up all the water from the ground, and the runa beans won't be able to survive. They'll just die. Like so many of their innocence with, with, with times before brilliant. Right, so are we all agreed that this is the plan? We, dr we drain every drop of water we can from the ground and get rid of those nasty runabins forever. Let's go for it. I might not like sharing my, my bed with a bunch of tomatoes, but I'm certainly not going to let home. Bainy faced bullies trample all over me. Agree. Not going to be pushed around be some great, great strength thing who think they can't skirt anybody with their nails bowing little ways well they scared me yes well let's let's be honest your own shallow uh, world uh, frighten me uh, are we all ready then off we go let's drain them still they drop in the face of the com common enemy the vegetables unite with red and green triumphantly fighting the good fight you pull all your sources and suck the soul dry and so the beans extinguished as they withered, blocked, and died. From that day on, they lived as friends and grew up tall and strong. Apart from rows and arguments, they really got along. And although they looked unusual, one green drop and one red, they proved that different varieties can all live in one bed. <laughs>